DNA transcription. Before we talk about DNA transcription, we should first know what DNA actually is. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries most of the genetic instructions for the development, functioning and reproduction of organisms. DNA consists of two polymer strands that make up the famous double helix. It also makes up genes that are important for the production of proteins. Now for the DNA transcription. DNA transcription is a part of the central dogma, which is an explanation of the entire flow of genetic information from DNA to RNA and to the final product, a protein. The central dogma is divided into three steps, replication, DNA to DNA, transcription, DNA to RNA, and translation, RNA to protein. Today, we are going to talk about the second step, which is transcription. To understand transcription, we should know that in an eukaryotic cell, DNA never leaves the nucleus, so its information must be copied, because it's essential for running the cell. This copying process is called transcription, and the copy is created in messenger RNA. Transcription takes place in the cytoplasm for a prokaryotic cell, or in the nucleus for an eukaryotic cell. The transcription is performed by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. We can look at this process as a recipe. If you want to make your favorite food, for example a cake, you need the cookbook and a paper on which you are going to copy your recipe. The cookbook is basically DNA, while the paper on which you are going to copy the book is messenger RNA. And why do we need to copy the cookbook onto a paper? Because we cannot cook in the library where we found our cookbook, so we need to get into the kitchen where all our equipment is. The kitchen is cytoplasm and the equipment are the mechanisms in the cytoplasm. Now to make RNA from DNA, we need to remember that DNA has two strands, while RNA has only one. So to make RNA, we need to copy one of the strands. The strands on DNA will be during translation divided into two. The antisense strand or the template strand, which serves as the template and the sense strand. RNA will need to complement the template strand, meaning it will essentially be a copy of the sense strand, the other strand. Now, to make our cake, we need the ingredients and we need them to mix together to form the final shape. This is the same in transcription. Let's say there's a gene in the nucleus which creates a certain type of a protein. Well, we cannot simply copy this gene. We need to have a starting point and an ending point. And we also need something that would copy the gene. And this is when we get to step one of DNA transcription, the initiation. The initiation is basically the beginning of transcription. We have something called the RNA polymerase, which is the copying mechanism of the RNA, and the place on the DNA where the RNA polymerase is to bind to create RNA is called the promoter. It's sort of like a guide that tells people where to go first. The promoter is located only on one strand of DNA, which is how we know which strand is the antisense strand. When the RNA polymerase attaches to the promoter and begins to create messenger RNA, that is called initiation. During this phase, DNA also zips open to let all the polymerase to enter. RNA is created by attaching bases to the complementary base of the DNA antisense strand. The second step in transcription is the elongation process, basically the process in which messenger RNA is getting longer, in short it's creating more bases. However, the RNA polymerase cannot create bases on its own, which is why subunits called nucleotides enter the polymerase and form individual bases. The last step of DNA transcription is termination. At the end of the binding area of the RNA polymerase is something called the terminator. It is the exact opposite of a promoter. It tells RNA to stop copying. When RNA polymerase reaches the termination site, it detaches of the DNA and DNA zips together once again. With RNA polymerase, messenger RNA also gets separated from the DNA as a long chain and goes off to do transcription somewhere else, or leaves the nucleus. The last thing that you should know about the DNA transcription is that all parts of the transcription process occur inside the nucleus. Because we are very professional scientists, we have lots of resources which you can find under the video. In the end, we want to thank you for watching our video and we hope that you learned something useful from it. We would also like to wish you luck on your DNA transcription tests. <laughs>